Hey everybody, I'm John and this is Blind Whiskey Reviews. Hey everybody and thank you so much for joining me today here on Blind Whiskey Reviews, the most honest reviews on YouTube. Today I am bringing you a brand new segment. I haven't done one of these before and I thought it would be a good time to start. Um, I've had a few companies reach out to me about reviewing their products and while I was a little wishy-washy on I didn't know how I wanted to do it, um, I kind of decided that doing a few whiskey related product reviews would be cool. So I'm doing this one today. This is the Lord of Rocks. This is one of their uh, box sets here where they've got some glasses, some whiskey stones and things like that. So we'll be taking a look at this and I want to do this unboxing style. We're going to do it live on the channel. This thing's still sealed up in plastic wrap. We're going to take that plastic wrap off, wrap off and experience this thing together and just kind of give you my thoughts on the feel, the overall presentation and the quality of the product. So let's get into it. So obviously we got some plastic wrap around here. All right, so overall, the feel of the box, got some chipping wood, a little bit on this. Um, the box isn't just straight wood, it's some kind of ply it looks like. I mean, it looks decent, it feels a little light. Well, let's get, crack, get it cracked open. Got a little engraving on the front with the company's name. A little foam here to protect it for during shipment, I'm sure. Some paperwork. Let's see what we got in here. Chill out and enjoy your drink smooth and chill with your fine Lord's Rocks. All you have to do is rinse the rocks with water, place them in a velvet bag, freeze them for about four hours, and chill your drink in seconds. And voila, bottoms up. To reuse, do the same. The set includes eight pieces of 100% natural granite whiskey stones, two whiskey glasses, a velvet bag, and an elegant wood box. And a couple warnings about don't eat the rocks, which I hope for most is evident. So, when feeling these, they're nice stones. Um, I've bought whiskey stones before, and I think they're usually like soapstone or something. So these ones look a little bit different feel a little bit different. Um, I've had like the soapstones are really soft, is a really soft stone and you can almost scrape it apart and these don't feel like you can do that. These are actually solid hard stones which I do like. Um, let's check out these glasses. You know, Crystal S glass. The packaging inside is nice, some really dense foam. The glasses feel okay. Kind of like a medium weight in your hand, not too hefty. I like my glasses to feel a little bit heavy in my hand, personal preference. Shape's good, the look's decent. Kind of got that crystal cut look going on. And then we have the velvet bag here for keeping the stones in the freezer. So, I guess the only way to check these things out is to put them in action. So, let me go chill the stones, clean the glasses, and we'll be back. All right, we're back, and now on to the fun part, the test. We're gonna put these glasses and stones to the test, see how they do, see how they perform, and see, we're gonna do a little comparison. Um, I wanted to compare them to some of the more inexpensive stones that are out there that I have, um, and kind of see how they do with cooling the whiskey, uh, moving around the glass, things like that. So, let's take these two glasses. We'll take uh, half the stones here, which I'm assuming is kind of what you would be using. So put those in the glass. We'll go with four, and I'll take four of these more inexpensive stones, which appear to be about the same size. And like I mentioned, these more inexpensive stones are made out of soapstone. I think that's pretty typical. Um, and soapstone, while I'm sure it does a good job, like you can tell, I don't know if you can see this, but like it's, you can scratch the soapstone off and it feels like it may have more impact on the whiskey. Like maybe the soapstone at some point could begin to dissolve or deteriorate or get little particles into your whiskey. And I'm not sure how that would affect it or if it would affect it at all, but anyways. I gotta give you guys the caveat that I don't normally chill my whiskey. So um, on rare occasion, maybe it's a hot day, maybe um, I wanna cool my whiskey down a little bit because you know a warm pour of whiskey just doesn't sound great. Maybe I'd run to something like this, um, throw it in the glass, swirl it around a couple of times get it chilled down just a little bit so maybe it's not so warm. But 
again, generally it's not something that I personally do. But a lot of people like their whiskey chilled with ice, but I think the soapstones or, or the stones themselves are a better option. Just because you're not diluting the whiskey, you can be in control of the dilution. You can add water in addition to the stones, and that way the dilution stays the same the entire time as opposed to an ice cube, which will continue, continually melt and continually dilute your whiskey more and more, so it's not a consistent profile on the whiskey. So, let's get to these first. Nice chill level. Like I said, the stones are about the same size as your standard stones I've seen. The glasses are nice. They feel rather weighty with the stones in them, although I don't know that I really like drinking with the stones in the glass. I'm always worried about you're gonna you know, tip the glass and those stones are gonna roll down and hit you in the teeth. Um, these granite stones feel a little bit heavier than the soap stones do. So, let me do a little side-by-side -side comparison here. Actually, I'll take that back. They feel a little lighter than this stone does. So maybe they feel a little bit safer, but they're about the same size. You can see the soap stones a little bit lighter in color, and like I said, um, definitely a little bit m more easily damaged than the granite stones. Um, yeah, overall, I think they perform pretty similarly. Like I said, the glasses feel nice and weighty with the stones in them. The whiskey's doing fine. The chill levels are about similar. All right, so my overall thoughts on this product. I think it's nice. Like I said, the glasses, while they're not anything extra fancy, are a nice size for a whiskey pour. They look nice. They've got a nice slight uh, concave edge to them so that way you, it'll hold in a little bit more of that aroma for the whiskey not very much we're not talking like the it's going to be like a Glen Cairn and really improve the the nose on the whiskey but it's got a nice beveled edge here they look nice the stones are nice I like the granite better than I do like the soapstone stones that you can get out there you know you can get a, a pack of soapstones for you know 10 to 15 dollars and they're just like I said I've always been curious about the quality and how they hold up in whiskey because the soapstones fall apart these granite feel very much more solid and like the whiskey's not going to uh, contribute to them deteriorating you're not going to end up with little particles of you know granite in your whiskey so that's nice um, the overall presentation is nice I think this would make a really good gift set um, you know the velvet bags pretty standard the stones are of a standard size the box looks nice um the engraving is whatever i mean it's not like super fancy engraving it's very very thin and i think it has to be because i think this is a wood veneered box so the box doesn't feel incredibly high quality um i mean it's perfectly solid but it feels lightweight and it doesn't you know like i said when i opened it up it chipped off a little bit on here so it's really a wood veneer i think on the entire box so but then again who really cares about the box? I mean, the box looks nice enough. It, it holds the, the package together. Really, this just makes a great gift set. So um, overall, I think it's pretty good. Uh, Price-wise, I think this set goes for, give or take, $35. You can pick it up on Amazon. I'll put a link to Am the Amazon uh, item down on the page. That way, if you guys want to check it out, you can click that link and go see it for yourself. Um, I think it makes a great gift, and with the holidays coming up, you know, for a, someone who enjoys whiskey, this wouldn't be a bad set to pick up for them. So if you've had a chance to try out Lord's Rocks, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And hopefully we'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.